Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show a demo for the SuperCloud project. For this demo, we are deploying the SuperCloud to four different cloud providers, including Amazon EC2, Microsoft Azure, Google Compute Engine, and Cornell Red Cloud, which is a private cloud in Cornell. For the demo purpose, we use VLC, which is a player can play movies and also at the same time stream it through the network. And for example, here we start a second layer VM, which is running a VLC program, and it also serves as a streaming server. We start a VLC client in another second, uh, first layer VM, and they will establish a HTTP TDP connection. We will run a controller which will monitor the clients and also try to minimize the average latency for all the clients. For example, here, if we have a single client running EC2, then the controller will automatically move the second layer VM from Google Compute Engine to EC2. The highlight of this demo is the migration is triggered automatically by the controller, and the migrated VMs are live. Also, IP addresses are not changed, and the TCP connections are not broken. Okay, so let's go into the demo now. As you can see, there are four windows on the screen. And from the desktop background, you can tell that they are from different cloud providers. So those are VNC windows for first layer VMs in different clouds. And the first thing I'm going to show is I'm going to open the browser, which will connect to a website showing the location of the source IP address. So here we can see that the Amazon instance is running in Tokyo and Google instance is running in Mountain View. Azure is running in Amsterdam and Recloud instance is running in Isaka. So now there are four different first layer VMs and currently there is already a second layer VM running on Amazon EC2. So this is the window of the second layer VM. And we will run a simple program in the second layer VM, which will show the pin latency to for all these first layer instances. And the layout is the same as the VNC window. For example, the top left is the latency to Amazon, and the top right is the latency to Google. The bottom left is the latency to Azure, and the bottom right is the latency to Recloud. And because this instance is currently running in Amazon, so you can see that the latency to Amazon is almost zero. And the latency to Google is around 160 milliseconds. Latency to Azure is around 200. Latency to Recloud is around 170. So the first thing I'm going to show is I'm going to trigger a manual migration to migrate this instance from Amazon EC2 to Google Compute Engine. And as you can see, I'm going to trigger this migration using, using a traditional SAO migrate command. I'm going to migrate this Ubuntu, Ubuntu second layer instance to Google. So now the migration has been triggered. And as you can see, the migration is running in background. So this VM is still running. And the memory copy is in background. And after a while, this VM is going to be moved from EC2 to Google Compute Engine. So you will see that the window of the second layer VM is going to be moved from this part to this part. And also, the pin latency of top left and top right are going to be swapped. And you will also see the latency change in other windows.
Okay, so now the migration is done. And as you can see, the pin latency to Google Compute Engine becomes zero, and the pin latency to Amazon is, is becoming like 160. And also you can see the latency change to all other cloud instances. So now we have moved from the instance uh, from the Amazon EC2 to Google Compute Engine. The next thing I'm going to to do is I'm going to start a VLC program, and it will serve as a streaming server. At the same time, I'm going to start the controller. So it will it's going to monitor the connections and calculate the optimal placement for this VM. Okay, so the VLC program is started, and then I'm going to start a client. Okay, at the same time, I'm going to start a pa the scheduler first. So this scheduler will start monitoring the connections to this uh, second layer VM, and it will calculate the optimal placement based on the average latency for all clients. So I'm going to start a single client in Red Cloud first. And as you can see, because it's a single client in Red Cloud, so then the controller should automatically decide that it's better to move this VM from Google Compute Engine to Red Cloud. OK, so a client has been started in Red Cloud. And as you can see, they are playing the same movie, and although the client has a, a, a buffering mechanism there, so it's a little bit delayed. And the controller is already has already detected that there is a client in Red Cloud, so it already triggered the migration. Okay. So now the VM has been moved to from Google Compute Engine to Red Cloud. And as you can see, the client is still playing, so the TCP connection is not broken. And the next thing I'm going to do is that instead of starting a single client, I'm going to start two clients in Asia. And because the scheduling policy is to minimize the average latency for all clients, so if there are two clients in Azure, then the scheduler will move the second layer instance from Red Cloud to Azure. So I'm going to start the first VLC client in Azure. And while the first instance, the first VLC client is, is running, the controller decided that there is no migration is needed because uh, in total, we have only two clients, and no matter where you place the second layer in, uh, VM, the average average latency for all clients are not going to be changed. However, if we start one more client in Asia, then placing the second layer VM in Asia is going to reduce the average latency for all clients. So as you can see, now the controller starts the migration. And at the same time, you will see that all clients are still playing the movie. Okay, so now the second layer VM has been moved from Red Cloud to Azure, and as you can see, all the clients are still playing the movie. So, in a summary, 
we start from Amazon EC2 and we first did a manual migration from EC2 to Google Compute Engine. Then we start a VLC program and we also start a client. The controller automatically moved the second layer instance from Google Compute Engine to Recloud. Then we start two clients, two more clients in Azure. Then the controller moved the second layer instance from Recloud to Azure. So this is the end of the demo and thanks for watching.